Gentleman Joyce Craig received 10,021 votes. But out of the more than 20,000 ballots cast, Joyce Craig's effort to unseat Manchester Mayor Ted Gatzis fell 64 votes short in 2015. A thin margin, she concedes, was tough to swallow. It took a little while to get past that, but, you know, we're certainly, when we think about what we did, uh, we're very proud of those results. And it's why now Craig has again launched a bid to lead New Hampshire's largest city, a city she believes has problems that have gone unchecked. The issues are the same, and that's one of the reasons why I'm running. Um, we are struggling with an increase in violent crime, with an opiate epidemic, and with struggling schools. Whether Craig will face the four-term incumbent Republican Ted Gatsis is unclear, as the mayor says he will decide whether to seek a fifth term in the near future. One certainty, though, is that this race won't be in the shadow of a presidential primary like it was in 15. The mayor's race in Manchester this year is really the big race and it's going to be kind of a preliminary lead into next year's midterm elections. And for the former Manchester alderman, the mayor's race is not the only one she's running this year. I wasn't really an athlete in high school and sort of got into running later in life. And come next month, she'll be running the Boston Marathon for the 10th consecutive year. Good luck in that race. But you can hear more of our exclusive interview with Joyce Craig, including the approach that she says she would bring to Manchester City Hall. That's this Sunday at 10 a.m., airing on Close Up.